probably the first microscope that I had growing up and looking under that. I was in awe of the world within. As I continued to study biology, really understanding the complexities and the beauty of biology is what fascinates me. There's so much yet to be discovered. The reason why I became a scientist was uh, my innate curiosity of how things work and why things work. And so I was very fascinated about chemistry. I got a PhD in chemistry. So people always ask me, why do I love science? I love science because it's exploration and solving puzzles. And I like teaching problem solving. Science is essential in ATCC's DNA. We are at the heart of many discoveries. We feel we're on that beginning edge of that transformation to lead to the outcomes, whether it be a therapeutic, a drug, a vaccine. You know, we feel that we're the building blocks, we're the starting material for those works. In the 1980s, uh, my father passed away, unfortunately, from prostate cancer. Um, there was no PSA test for prostate cancer in the 80s. That came 10 years later, and it's now the most curable form of cancer because the test diagnoses things early and people can get treated quickly. Without funding to develop new innovations, you are not gonna have those kinds of advances in human health. Science continues to evolve, as does ATCC. The next generation of discoveries will rely on more data, more source materials that can be authentic, trusted, traceable to its source. That combination is really powerful. ATCC is the foundation and backbone of discoveries within research. For many fields of science beyond life sciences, Funding science and supporting science is so critically important now and in the future. Without funding for science, there is no innovation.